learning from failure, and letting go of the past. Most of us are born and raised with a deep instinct that tries to scare us away from failure. Failure is a scary and intimidating word that has many connotations in our society. When somebody is considered a failure, sometimes it can mean disaster in their social life or in their personal relationships. Sometimes it can even be the end of that person's self-esteem. The issue with that is that they are allowing society and other people to define success and failure for them. Failure is not a bad thing. Everybody makes mistakes. And if you're willing to learn and grow from them, then the world is your oyster. It can be very difficult for us to stay motivated to succeed, but especially so when we are met with unforeseen challenges and our plans begin to backfire. It only takes one time of messing up for us to start to label ourselves as failures. It is very easy for us to sink down onto that slippery slope that convinces us that we are no good and we never deserve success in the first place. This is a very self-defeating mentality. And if we are not willing to face it head-on and challenge our own preconceived notions about failure and success, then we are going to have a very difficult time achieving our goals. Success does not come without a struggle. We have a birthright to make mistakes. We are not born knowing all that there is to know. We do not always make the right choices, and we do not always know the right thing to do or say in any given situation. We always have to play it by ear. And yet, somehow we are very unforgiving of ourselves when we slip up and do things that do not directly contribute to our personal goals at the time. Whether those goals are social or otherwise, failure is something that we are generally terrified of. That just seems silly. Everybody is bound to fail at some point, and we are never going to do everything right the first time. Not only are we human, but we are also individuals with different individual experiences and upbringings. We cannot compare ourselves to other people and define our idea of success by the measures made by other people. Each of us is different and has a different journey to take. When we start to compare ourselves to others or get tricked into believing that their definition of success is the right definition, that is when there is trouble. Learning from our failures is a fundamental part of life. It should be taught to us from an early age how to handle setbacks. But unfortunately, a lot of us never actually learn crisis management in that sense. Most of the time, humans seem comfortable just ignoring the bad things and trying to focus on the good. This is despite the fact that humans have a negativity bias, which makes it easier for us to think about and remember the bad things than it is for us to think about and remember the good. Perhaps this is why it can be so difficult for us to let go of the bad and focus on the good so that we can continue to move forward. It can be really hard for us to move on from the past, especially when it involves things that we are ashamed about or embarrassed by. However, we can start to shift our thinking so that we are able to really accept and understand the fact that not everything that we fail at is actually a failure. And even if it was a failure, that only provides us with more knowledge and wisdom for when we continue to keep trying for the next time. This might seem like an optimistic point of view, but the fact is that when we are so bogged down by things that continue to drain us emotionally, we start losing the energy that we need in order to propel ourselves forward. We are stuck in the mires of our minds, keeping us frozen to the point where we sometimes stop believing that success is possible at all. This is a very dangerous place to be in, and many people begin to lose their motivation completely and start to believe that failure is a term that actually defines them as a person. They no longer see the potential or the opportunities that they have surrounding them. All that they see is the darkness that they have begun to associate themselves with. That can lead to depression and other horrible debilitations none of which any human deserves to be subjected to. And yet, we subject ourselves to those things, believing ourselves to be unworthy just because we made one little mistake or something did not go as planned. There are going to be unforeseen obstacles in any situation, but most especially when you have a specific goal in mind and your only passion in the moment is to achieve that goal. The world is working on a continuum one that is full of other people and other obstacles and goals getting in the way and clashing with yours. Everybody is constantly reeling from the consequences of their actions and the actions of other people. Much of what we endure on a daily basis is due to chance. We are all just trying to navigate this hectic chaos surrounding us, and that can make it hard to stay focused on the task at hand, especially when it seems like there are other obstacles always in the way. But the only true failure is in giving up not forging your way forward. You have to have faith in your plans and believe in your vision and understand that failure is only one natural step toward your goal, not against it. Think about how much you learn from making mistakes. 
All of us have to learn how to balance before we can walk. How many times do you think you fell down before you ever took your first step? That didn't make you a failure. That just made you a person in the process of learning. And that is what you will always be. You should never define yourself as a failure. You should define yourself as a person who is willing to try. Instead of letting your mistakes and the shame and embarrassment of the past bring you down, let go of it. Stop obsessing over the ways that you did not achieve the things that you hoped to achieve and give yourself permission to try again. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.